Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I am sweaty, just got out of that. It is just hot outside. But anyway, um, I was that gung-ho about getting up on here. Um, also, I'm cooking again today. Chef DDB in full effect. But I want to get up on here because I saw something at Walmart while I was there shopping. Woo! I don't even know how to keep saying this because I've been saying this every year. So, long story short, there was this cashier at Walmart, young guy, nice, 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 okay? However, I guess the lady got mad because I was taking long. You know how you look for your card or whatever the case may be, and I was taking long, and I was trying to apologize. But anyway, um, him and the lady, she was an older lady, they started arguing. So, afterwards, I had to re-ring up everything anyway, but listen to me. So then he arguing with her, and I looked at my seat. So they put him on a register by himself, and really just to ring me up, just kind of give him a time to calm down. People, 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 and this is for young people. We're actually for older people too, because to be honest with you, we don't want this to touch us, but I'm going to be honest with you. You know why those kids acting a fool? Because the grown-ups, our generation and the one before us, we dropped that ball. And I'm just be real. I'm going I'm to take you on a journey. Just a little journey, okay? We started seeing it in the cartoons, cursing. Oh, we thought it was cute. We thought it was funny. Then them look, then teaching babies to cuss. Oh, cuss them out, cuss them out. I think thought that was funny. Start making videos of it. Come on, somebody, walk with me. Now, then started cussing each other out. You know, they, you, you know. They never used to have like so much cursing on the news and and just out in the media. Now everybody cursing everybody out. What you think the young people supposed to do? Because they seen everybody else act a fool, act unruly. You know, and, and I'm going here today. I don't care who get mad. Please come for me. You know, I stay ready, right? I even saw a grandmother in Walmart. And I'm looking at her. Try not to judge or whatever. But grandma didn't look like no grandma. Grandma had on something young, flesh all out. I'm going somewhere with this. Young people learn God. Older people, you need to get back acquainted with God so that they can, you can be an example for these young people. Can I tell you something? I love God. I just love God. But the more I look around, it makes me want to even be more righteous. I didn't say perfect. For other people, so they could have somebody to say, you know what, she walked that thing, she talked that thing, she lived that thing. They don't have no, they don't have any examples too much, because guess what? Them people know if you're doing it, preaching it, and not living it, they know. Oh, come on, somebody, we all know. Truth be told, the only one think, the only one don't know is yourself. So, point blank in the story, young people, stop being so disrespectful. The Bible says that you'll cut your life short. You're not seeing it. Y'all so angry. And that's because the grown-ups are angry, but let's go, let's go. There's a spirit that's over this world. The enemy, the enemy is doing it on purpose. He got it in the television. He got it in the movies. He got it in the songs. But think about it. Everything is a medium of spirit. What you listening to, that's what make you go crazy. What you see, make you go crazy. What you say. As a matter of fact, let me take you on a little short journey all the way to 20 years. People wasn't acting like that until they saw boys in the hood and men to society. Now everybody want to be bad. You give somebody a gun, yeah, I guess you are bad. Until your day. Because what comes around goes around. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I, I, I honestly know why God chose me. The life I used to live. Yes, I was that person. And, and everybody could tell you in Abbeville, Louisiana. I, was, I can't believe I'm still living. The stuff I pulled, the stuff I did, the, the people I was with. I know why God chose me now. He didn't choose me just for me to, you know, to act like I'm famous and I'm rich and I'm all that. No, tell your testimony. Tell them how I saved you. Tell them that they don't have to try to be more than they are. Tell them they don't have to be ruthless. Tell them they don't have to go around killing each other. They don't have to do all this old crazy stuff and go to hell. Because hell is real. It's real. And y'all sitting up there trying to be bad. Bad until what? Until you open up your eyes in hell, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Y'all better learn and stop acting crazy. And I'm talking about adults too. Y'all sitting up there even on Facebook, even in person. Just everybody's just so unruly. You forgot to say thank you. You forgot to say I'm sorry. You forgot what it was like to have grace and mercy on you. But I'm going to tell you when people remember it. 
when they laying in a pool of blood, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus, or when they're on the death bay, then they, God, God, forgive me. Excuse me? How did you live? How are you living? Yeah, I'm getting upset because I'm tired of people dying without God. And yeah, we got more churches than we ever had. But I'm going to tell you why the church is not effective because all y'all trying to be famous. Competition. Everybody want to be the most glamorous thing. I'm going to tell you now. I, I really don't care how y'all look at me. I, I'm just real. And when I say real, with flaws in everything. All I want to do is please God. And if I can save one, just one, just one, I've done my job. Hallelujah. Church, it's our fault that people out here dying and acting a fool. Because y'all too cute. Oh, y'all too cute. You notice I get up on here almost any kind of way? Because I ain't. I'm not saying don't, you know, take care of yourself. But I'm just saying, God put this message on me. I'm in the middle of cooking. I stopped what I was doing. I said, God, I hear you. You're right. We got to be about our father's business. It's about souls. It ain't about us. That's the whole problem. It's about us. Y'all want to worry about how you look and, and how people look at you and this and that. And I'm not saying don't take care of yourself. I'm just saying we got a dying generation. And y'all sitting up there worrying about fame and all this, oh, God, stuff that don't even matter. Because if you die the day or tomorrow, you can't take nothing with you anyway. And, and truth be told, when you die, truth going to come out anyway, what you really was doing. But can y'all do me a favor? Tell me the truth to my face while I'm living. And I'm so serious. Because if you tell me the truth, and I'm making myself an example, then maybe I can get that thing right. If you tell people the truth, maybe they can get it right. They ain't got to die, and you got to lie at their funeral. Talking about, well, he, 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 lying, knowing that we don't know where they're going. I'm sorry. I just have a righteous anger because I'm tired of it. <sighs> get on Facebook. Get on YouTube. People cussing each other out. Young women acting like, you know what? Y'all call it thoughts. I call it whatever. For attention. The spirit of attention. For what? <laughs> to say you the man, you the girl, you got it going on, then talk about you afterwards. Everybody talk, stop. Everybody talk, everybody talk, everybody talk, stop. Everybody talk. It's crazy, man. It's just crazy. I just pray that we get it together. Everybody, people, they got people that don't like you just because you serve God. Oh, I'm finna go here. Because you got more followers than them. Me, I ain't never rolled like that. You got it going on? God bless you. If you're real. Now, if you fake, I ain't got no respect for you. And I'll tell you to your face. Look, I love you because God tell me to. But, you shysty. Mm -hmm. I tell people the truth. I'm sorry. I ain't got no, t I ain't got no time to lie and play. Because we don't know when God going to call us home. So, our mission while we're here is to tell the truth and love people back to life. Young people, please learn God. And older people stop playing with God. That's why they don't know God. They don't know God because the church playing with God. That's why. Hallelujah. Okay, let me get up on here. Hallelujah. Y'all don't know how I feel like it when I see stuff like that. Because I know what's coming. You know, honestly, I talk to God and I really mean what I'm getting ready to say. It wasn't nothing but the grace of God that saved me. Y'all don't understand. If y'all knew my past, y'all understand what I'm talking about. I was held on wheels. I'm serious. It's like, I I don't know. I guess I was just mad and anger. And that's what these young women, young women and men are working with. They have anger in their heart. And the only way you can combat that, because that's a spirit, is by the presence of God. You can't just talk to them. You have to ask God, God, give me something to touch their spirit, their heart, their soul. And let them see you, God. Don't let them see me. Everybody want to be seen. Everybody want to be known. You ain't all that. It is God. We're not supposed to be exalting ourselves. We're supposed to be exalting Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All right, I'm done. God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers for that is who we are. Do your job. God bless.